Alright guys, what's up? This is a quick uh, guide, I guess, on um, how to organise your music within Plex. Now, I've recently added my library of music, or some of my library, to my Plex media server. And I've noticed the way that it sorts it, using the uh, personal, media, personal media agent, if you want premium. Uh, I'm not sure what the premium version is like, it may be slightly different. But with the standard media agent, uh, it tends to make either multiple uh, albums for each disc or um, it will merge two discs into one for example this is a two disc now 44 and disc one and two's tracks are both under here so you have two ones, two twos, two threes so on and so forth um, now I've found some ways to remedy these and fix it which is uh, not too hard to do really there's also uh, merging the multi-disc sets, so it says disc 1 and 2, like this is one I've done earlier, uh, no, 36 for example. It's got disc 1, disc 2 under here, which just helps clean up your overall library view when you're looking at it like this. There's also ways that you can split apart the um, merged ones, like here's now 55, that's so merged together. Now we can slit these and split them to disc 1 and 2 so they display and get rid of the disc 2 in the title. It's just a few bits to edit. So first of all, let's say we want to merge two albums. Here's now 40, for example. I believe this is disc 1. Now 40, disc 1. Okay. So if we look in here, we can see the stuff is here set up as disc 1. Now if you press shift, click the top track and then click down to the bottom track, it will select them all. Now hit the pencil tool and disk, make sure it's set to whatever disk it is, in this case it's number one. Hit the padlock to lock that in as well so it doesn't change. Save changes and that's all we need to change on the actual tracks. Now when they're deselected, hit the pencil on the side so you're editing the actual album information. Then remove disk one from the title. So we just put no 40. Let's do it for the sort type. Uh, sort album title as well, this is what it sorts it in the list as just to now 40 save the changes ok that's done now if we go back to music we'll see just a now 40 with no disc whatever on it which is here this is what we're going to merge this disc into now the way I do this is if you open the second disc again hold shift click the first and last to select them all pencil tool to edit and don't modify these, I don't change them, all I do is go to disk and put in a number 2, make sure it's locked, save changes, those are now set to be disk 2. Now I edit the album again when everything's deselected and get rid of disk 2 from here, so it's just now farty. Save that in changes, then if we go back to music, we've now got one, now 40. Now if we look in here, we've got disc 1 and 2 and they're separated. So that just shows us one item and both discs are actually separated with inside there. So that's one way of merging them. Um, a way of separating them, now you really need to know, let's look now 44. Okay, so this is together merged, both of the discs it thinks are disc 1. Now to fix this, what I do is locate the folder where the media is stored. If you just give me a second. Okay. Now I've got here the list of the contents. Is my now what I that's what I call music. I've got 44 disc one and two. If I go into disc two, I can now see what tracks are on there. If I now drag these side by side, for example. There we go. Now, so what I do is I hold control, the control key, not shift this time. Select the ones off disk 2, which I will do now. Also, if you misclick and select the wrong one with control, just click it again whilst keeping holding control, and it will deselect it again. Okay, so now I've selected what disk 2 is looking in the folder here, this is what's on disk 2. Now I hit the pencil tool with these disk 2 tracks selected 
and we go here where it says disk one just hit number two save changes bingo that's sorted now we can also go and hold shift click the first and last of disk one and lock that that'll prevent them maybe getting jumbled up in the future they shouldn't do but I can do that anyway I sometimes like to do that now if we deselect these we can go to edit which is editing the actual album now and instead of putting disc 1 there let's get rid of that so it's just now 44 UK save changes now that's set up and sorted as we would want it with both of the discs merged under one actual name of the album here we go now 44 uh, now volume 44 UK click in disc 1 disc 2 with the respective tracks on them Another thing that you can also do is merge even bigger than two discs. For example, down here, 100 R&B classics, the very best of 100 R&B classics even. Um, if we go into here, let's merge this so all five discs are within one cover. Shift, click, click the first and last, hit edit, disc, one, lock, save changes. That's that done. When they're deselected, hit the edit key. Now change this. Get rid of disc one. Get rid of disc one on the sort title. Save changes. Now that's what we're going to merge them all into. Go back to music. Let's go down here. Let's edit disc two. Now you could edit the album title first before you change the number, but if you do, be warned if you hit this and don't change the CD number on the tracks it will merge them together as if both of the these tracks and the disc one tracks are on the same disc which you don't want so make sure you select these and give them a disc number first I made the mistake of not doing this before and then I had to go through the process of looking within the folder and individually putting everything back so now this is applied to CD2 disc 2 we can get rid of that make sure they're deselected Hit edit to edit the album, get rid of the disc 2 from the title, get rid of disc 2 again from the sort title, save, head back to music, they should now be merged, we've only got 4 now, yep disc 1 and 2 is done, ok here we go we've got one item now, I've just finished merging all of the 100 R&B classics. If we open this now, all five discs are merged together. So there we go. Perfect. Another thing I've noticed is that for no particular reason, some albums tend not to get album information. So, for example, there's no covers for these CDs, these CDs, or these CDs. This is Top Gear 3 Rock Ballads. This is now 29 and this is now 45 I don't see why 144 and 46 has got information just fine but nevertheless um, if we are going to create the information and make this look the part let's go ahead and merge it as to one album first these are disc one that's okay deselect edit get rid of disc one from the title There we go, and save the changes. Now what you can try is going on the left, clicking the dots when you were in the folder of the album, and hitting match. Now right here it'll come up, no 45 UK disc 1, that's just finding the name of my folder. Uh, search options, you can adjust it here, you could search last FM instead of personal media artists. I by default use personal media artists. Uh, you can go for that in English, hit search see if anything comes up but I've not had much luck using last FM's options so let's get rid of that and cancel that because it's obviously not going to work now we're in the album let's hit edit we've already got all the data and everything here the one thing we seem to be missing is the poster as we can see there's no image here 
So there's a couple of ways we can add a poster. You can choose an image from your local computer if you've downloaded one from the internet or you have the album art that had been downloaded from a program like Windows Media Player when you've ripped the CD. You can also drag and drop it to the page from your computer or maybe even from the web. That could probably work. Or you can enter a URL. Now I usually enter a URL and just have Plex fetch it from the server. So to do this, let's go. We want to go to Google. So let's get on Google and then we're going to search now 45 are we doing? Yeah, now 45 cover UK. Let's go to images. Here's the cover for now 45. That's quite a low resolution image. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. See, here's a nice bigger one. You should always pick a nice resolution of image and it looks good if you blow it up on the TV, for example. Now, view image, it will load this page. You'll get the full size image on its own. You can copy this link, enter your URL, paste it into there, and press enter. And it gets the artwork for you. Save changes. We've now got the cover out. So if we go back to the music library, we've now got a cover on now 45. I'm also going to go ahead and edit the second disc to match, so shift, select all, edit, disc 2, save changes, hit edit once everything's deselected, take the disc 2 out of the title, take disc 2 out of the title on the sort title, save changes, go back to music, and now they should both be merged under here with artwork. There we go. Perfect. So I hope this guide was uh, helpful for you guys and uh, gives you a hand sorting your music libraries out. I've obviously still got quite a lot to do, but I've already merged a fair few of these albums together, as you can see. Thankfully, I didn't import everything, and then I would have to go through the whole lot of it. So I'm just going to do a bit at a time. That's probably the best way to approach it. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any better ways to organise this, I did search around on the internet but I couldn't find much else other than the way I'd already found of doing it, which is what I've just displayed here. If anyone has a better method for doing this, or maybe some custom uh, search agent or something that you can install to Plex, feel free to go ahead, comment, let me know, and uh, I'll have a look at it and try it out. I mean, this is quite a pain in the butt to do, but it's worth it in the end, everything's a lot tidier and easier to find in your library. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please remember to leave a like if the video helped you out. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more guides on Plex or wherever. Leave a comment if you want help with something, I'll try and help you out, make videos, I don't mind doing them. And uh, see you again soon guys.